Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome to another episode of Spitting Venom, aka the Venom Vlog. And I just went into the comic store. I'll have on screen here. You can see some of the comics I looked at. I did buy a stack. Uh, I just been really behind on my regular comics here at Golden Apple, and I bought like a pretty good stack of stuff and spent like 40 bucks, which was good for me. Um, a little bit more than I wanted to spend, but I at least cleared out my pull box there, which was nice. So there was a bunch of like Optimus Prime issues and things that I've been behind on. I can't wait to finally catch up on all this stuff. Uh, but we're gonna talk about some more movie news. In the last episode, we talked about Riz Ahmed and the character he's playing in the Venom movie. And now in this episode, we're going to talk about Scott Hayes and kind of what Atlanta Filming and uh, Marvelous Realm have been talking about on Twitter of who he's playing. In the last video, we talked about Riz Ahmed and him playing Dr. Drake in the movie, according to at Atlanta Filming and at Marvelous Realm. Again, their links are down below. Please check those guys out if you're on Twitter. Follow them. They're updating a lot with a lot of Marvel movies, a lot of things that are filming in Atlanta right now, which is dope. These guys are very busy and they're and they're keeping us up to date, which is awesome of them. So big shout out to those guys. And uh, and they actually now are saying, uh, or Marvelous Realm said uh, on their Twitter account uh, that Scott Hayes, because we were wondering who he was playing, because I was thinking he had a shaved head um, and he had like a black coat on. And I, as of someone who reread Lethal Protector to, to make the video for you guys a few episodes ago, uh, we learned that there was a guy named Crane who was working for the Life Foundation who was kind of like a hired gun. And uh, he had a shaved head and a black coat. And I thought, oh, wow, that's a, he's only in, he has like two or three scenes in the comic book. So I was like, yeah, that's a very small character that they're maybe going to flesh out more with Scott Hayes. And he's such a great actor. I know a lot of people were thinking he was going to play Cletus Cassidy or Carnage, but I knew once I saw the shaved head, I'm like, nah, he's not going to be Carnage. Uh, they're not going to go that route probably with Carnage. Uh, so now that we're learning, uh, according to Marvelous Realm, is that he's playing Roland Treese. Now, Roland Treese in the Lethal Protector comic wasn't the muscle. He wasn't like a goon or anything like that. He was a, a board of directors guy. He was a guy that seemed like he wanted to be like an Indiana Jones type. He wanted to find this gold, uh, but he didn't have the means to do it. You know, he wasn't like, you know, uh, you know, the, the adventure type. He wasn't a strong guy. So he was like, all right, I got money. I'm going to fund this project. I'm going to hire strong people and I'm going to hire the, like build these two digger giant mech suits and then also work with the Life Foundation who he's on the board of directors of. And they're going to get to the, you know, keep everything off their back, keep all the superheroes away, and they're going to get the gold. So he's not, you know, muscle. And in this, you know, so far we've seen him, like, you know, walk up to Eddie Brock and tase him. And then you see Eddie, like, you know, stand up, grab him by the throat and lift him. So clearly Treese in this one is a little bit more hands-on. He Even though he, if, even if he's not the full muscle or not, you see that he gets physical. And you see that he's willing to get in close and get dirty, which is so not like the comic book version. So it seems like what they're doing, because obviously you always got to take liberties, and it's like, okay, you're you're creating your characters for your movie. All right, we need a hired gun. Or you're, we need like the muscle guy. We need the brains guy. We need this guy. And when they're looking at all these roles, they're probably like, okay, well, let's at least name them after the comic book characters, even if they're not, you know, 100% representing the comic book characters. But for all we know, he still works for Life Foundation. They still have all the basics there. Uh, and maybe just because he's not a Weasley guy and they're making him a muscle guy, they're maybe just amalgaming two concepts for characters together, and it might work out. But Scott Hayes is a great actor, and I'm just surprised he's playing a character like Treese, because I thought they would keep Treese like the Weasley one. Uh, but it looks like they're not going that route. He's going to be very hands-on. So, I don't know. What do you guys think of this? I think it's pretty interesting, and uh, I'm excited to see where it goes from here, because if you haven't seen Scott Hayes' work, he's been in some movies recently. you got to check him out. Go to his IMDb page, find some of his movies, check him out. He's done some war movies recently. Like I said, he's been in a couple films with James Franco, and he's, he's got a lot of acting talent. I'm telling you, this guy's awesome. So it's going to be really interesting to see him play in this movie. What role he is uh, that he's going to do is now now we know his trees, but what capacity is that character going to be in the film? Uh, is he just a hired gun? Is he just going to have a couple cheesy one-liners? Or is he going to be integral to the plot? I'm really interested to know what you guys think. So let me know down in the comments below. Like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff, and I'll see you all in the future. Peace.